Hi, our next topic is bugs and insects. And here's an overview of the bugs and insects that I have made. A quick look at all of them. And at the end of our videotape, you will see that each one of these has their own picture so that you can get a better look at it and after I've showed you how it is made first we'll make it and then afterwards I'll show you how I made it and after that then you will see each individual craft that we've made in a single photo There, that's our overview. <coughs> our first craft is a butterfly. It's called a, I call it our tissue butterfly, and it looks like this. And what we did was, I took a piece of tissue, open out like that, fold it in half like that, then Take the, turn it, take the middle section, the open part is down here. See the open part down there? And just gather it up like that. And you can put a piece of ribbon around here to hold it. And then if you like, you can put on a body like, like this one. See, I, the children have colored like a rainbow, the body. I took this. a white piece of paper, cut a, a large part for the body and a small circle for the head and then antennae. And then the children took it, or I took it, and colored like this. Now they have fun decorating the tissue wings. And what I use for these tissue wings are just your alphabet, your glitter. Alphabet glitter letters like this. And I just took them and decorated the wings. Now, if you'd rather use something else, you can use tissue squares like this. The children had a ball with this one. As you can see, they put all the tissue squares all in the one spot. That's okay because it's their creation and they're allowed to do whatever they want to do and create and use whatever they want. They want stickers, they want glitter letters, if they want flowers, they can choose. Now, the butterfly, when we first do it, looks like this. And then you put on your, you can use either this body, or you can use a body like this. I just folded it and cut it out. And there's this shape, whichever shape you want to use. All right, now this one, if you don't want to use a shape for a body, you can use a pipe cleaner. I just put the pipe cleaner on there and then curled it here for the antennae. Now, whatever you want to put on this, you can. Stickers, glitter letters, or this. Now this butterfly, this butterfly I pre-cut. I pre-cut the wings. You can see they're, they're cut there. And this is wallpaper. If you want to make your butterfly out of wallpaper, you can do that. That's fine. And then I added tissue to mine, and I put on the uh, the pipe cleaner to gather up the tissue, and then the antennae, and you'd put eyes on there too. Now, if you want to do a wallpaper butterfly, you can. If you want to do a tissue paper butterfly, that's up to you. Yeah, I do have some more tissue paper butterflies, but they're not made of tissue paper. They're made out of... coffee filters. You take your coffee filter and you, I think I'll do this one first, it's easier. Take your coffee filter, when it's out, just decorate it with markers like this. These are just marker dots. And then gather it up in the middle like we did with the tissue. You can put a peg on it like this, or you can put on uh, pipe cleaners for antennae. Uh, with this one, how did I get that effect? Well, we took a, a spray bottle and we sprayed it. 
And as you spray it, usually when it works, come on. Okay, so much for that. Hmm. Well, the idea is that you take a bottle of water and you spray it. And you get this effect. Or, if it you spray a lot of water on, it'll bleed even more and look like that. Like it's kind of a wallpaper pattern. But it's just a coffee filter. And you use your pipe cleaners there. Okay, water bottle. You're going back. You didn't work. Okay, so you can make your coffee filter butterfly. That's another butterfly you can make. This butterfly I had fun with. I was looking through my Valentine heart and I found this. And what it is is, see this effect? You get that from dropping glue, or not glue, excuse me, dropping paint, blobs of paint, and then you take your straw and you, you blow. You can use a fat straw, thin straw. Sometimes the fatter straws work better. Now if you're finding that it's not spreading out when you're going and blowing it, just take the end of the straw and pull it out like that. Just pull it out. And the children have fun doing that. And you can have fun doing that too. But see what it is? It's just two Valentine hearts that I've stuck together. And there you go. You've got a butterfly. This is your regular clothespin with pipe cleaner for antennae and I put it on with the glitter with the uh, glue you can buy a low temperature glue gun that the children can use but I would still be very careful with it mine is a hot one so um, I wouldn't recommend using that with the children the white glue is good but the glue gun works better and if they want to you can paint the you can paint the body of the butterfly brown or green or black and then what I would normally do is I would fasten it with a glue gun so it doesn't come off. But I'm letting it come off so I can show you how to do it. But that's with Valentine hearts. More Valentine hearts over here. Uh, created this one. This Valentine butterfly. And it's actually quite easy. Again. You take two Valentine hearts, glue them together like that. That gives you this. That will give you that. Then after that, I found some little tiny doilies that I had sitting around. And I thought, hey, I'm going to use those. So I took two of the silver doilies and glued them like that and put them on there. So you can glue them like that, or you can glue red doilies, or if you have gold or white, whatever color you have. And notice they're in the shape of a heart. Here's the, the one that I made with the red doilies. And I just cut the body like that, and this was a piece of wire that I found in my desk. And I just put it on like that. See, it looks nice with white hearts, too. Okay, so... After you've done this, put on your silver on top of your red. You take a piece of black paper and just trace up, almost like a football. And you don't have to be fussy about this. The best, whatever shape you get is fine. And then a round ball for the head. And then cut it out and you have this. And you put the googly eyes on. And this right here is just a strip of black paper that I've curled with a pencil by rolling it or curl it with scissors and it just does the same thing. So there's two Valentine, three Valentine butterflies. Okay. I now have a butterfly that I've made with hands. If you remember Canada Day, we had some hands that we traced. Well, I took the hands and I put the thumb up like that. And put the two thumbs together like that. And then I put the thumbs down here. So the thumbs are on the outside and the baby fingers on the inside. And that gives you your butterfly wings here. Now if you'd rather do it like this, you can do instead of you all red, 
you can make it out of white. The thumb you can find because it's the smallest, the smallest finger. Okay, and there's the thumb on that one. You can make a butterfly like that. And then you add the eyes to it and again the centerpiece, which is the body. And I put some glitter sequins on it, sequin flowers on it. But that's another way to make a butterfly. Okay, some stores sell the foam butterflies pre made like this. And you can just take your little stickers and put the stickers on. What I did was I found that if I put my scissors through here, okay, scissors, where are you? Here you are. I got you. Okay. If you put your scissors through here, you can cut the outline like that and you get this effect and if you want to put tissue like put this glue this on some tissue then that gives you a tissue part in the center and you can put glitter on it or sequins on it and it really looks nice or you can just do this and put little flowers foam flowers on it and that gives you a butterfly but that's from the craft store and they're not very expensive oh I needed to show you something um, the children, I need to show you something. The children made this one. They did was they took a white popsicle stick, like a tongue depressor that the doctor uses sometimes, and they glued little pom poms on it, like that. Put googly eyes on this side, and I don't know if you can, well, it's sort of a tail on there. And then they took that, and when we made our tissue butterfly, they put this to make, whoops, body goes the other way, to make the body for the butterfly, like that, with the pom-poms on. And I thought that was a cute idea, but this is another idea for making a caterpillar.